Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for all your prayers. Hello, my friends. This is Jesse Munoz from Farandula News. And today we're going to be talking about Mr. Johnny Canales, the iconic Johnny Canales for the Johnny Canales show. Uh, Mr. Take it away. You got it. Vamonos. So, yes, we're going to be talking about Johnny Canales. Is he very gravely ill? We'll find out today. We'll be uh, listening here from words from Nora Canales herself, from her family, from her daughters, and from Mr. Johnny Canales himself about his health. We're going to be talking about some other type of news. Three day celebration coming to the Riverside Park in Victoria, Texas. Uh, in Victoria, Texas, they're gonna have that uh, that event. On May 24th through May 26th. This weekend. With a music festival, barbecue cook-off, car show, great food, and fun for the entire family and performing live. Where um, La Mafia, Grupo La Mafia, uh, starts his uh, Estás Tocando Fuego tour. There will be Grammy Award winners and Grammy Award nominees like La Mafia. going to be Grupo Duelo. It's going to be Eric Masore. Eric y su Grupo Masore. Música de Coahuila, Cumbia. David Lee Garza y los musicales, Jay Perez, Remenera, Ricardo Castillón y La Diferencia. And also Jennifer Peña, now that she started back. <laughs> Grupo Signo. Te odio y no creas que lloro tu ausencia por las madrugas. And our friends here too, Grupo Pronto. Grupo Proto, Baby Quintanilla and the Cumbia All-Stars. However, we, uh, I went, I just recently just went on the webpage to see if everything is coming, who's coming Friday, who's coming on Saturday, who's coming on, on Sunday. I start reading some negative comments that they're uh, putting there, people are putting there about uh, A.B. Quintanilla. And so when I look for the update, it showed that A.B. Quintanilla was canceled. I don't know if he did it himself or the promoter did it or if it's even true. The biggest three-day celebration 2024 coming May 24th through the 26th at the Riverside Park in Victoria, Texas. And today we're going to be talking about also the legend, Mr. Johnny Canales, Mr. You Got It, Take It Away. Uh, recently, uh, the newspaper, La Cronica from Corpus Christi, uh, they published that Johnny Canales' health, he mentioned that he was, he was uh, gravely ill. So we're going to find out the details on that from Nora Canales, from the family. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for all your prayers. We're doing real great and real good. And we're going to do better with your prayers. So stick around. We'll be here. We'll be around. You got it. Take it away. <laughs> yes, friends, that was Johnny Canales, the man himself, responding to some... Uh, I guess rumors that were spread about him in the Corpus Christi uh, newspaper, La Cronica. More than a rumor, it was kind of like an attack to Nora Canales, uh, saying that Nora Canales uh, had forced uh, herself into changing the name of the iconic Mr. Johnny Canales and uh, saying about how young she was and how she changed the name from the Johnny Canales show to the Johnny Canales, Johnny and Nora Canales show. Whether that is true or not, that's their decision. But what do you think about it? I mean, if you go look at it, 
I think the most important thing that we should all be concentrating on is the health of Mr. Johnny Canales. Mr. Johnny Canales is uh, one of the most important figures in the music industry. He has helped uh, very many bands. Uh, he opened up the door for many great names in the music industry today. Uh, people such as La Mafia, Selena, right here. Um, they appeared all in the Johnny Canales show. Bronco, uh, Los Humildes, Ramon Ayala, uh, just to name a few, the Palominos. Uh, we also appeared in the Johnny Canales show. And he opened up the door to many of us in the music industry. Well, now he's... Uh, undergoing some health issues. But according to Nora, um, he has been uh, uh, sick for a long time, but that he is in a stable condition, uh, much uh, different than what the newspaper was publishing. What do you think about La Cronica from Corpus Christi? Do you think they're on the right to say those things? But also, uh, please comment also on the event that was canceled about uh, A.B. Quintanilla. I saw it with my eyes that the, uh, the name where, where, where A.B. Quintanilla was, it had a big uh, red cross uh, saying that it was canceled. But I do not know because I haven't heard anything. But if you find out, please leave a comment and let us know why do you think it is? Do you think it's because of the comments he said out there in San Antonio? And is that beginning to affect his career? Will it continue affecting his career? Please let us know. This is Jesse Munoz, Compachui from Farandula News. Thank you for watching my videos.